and let's go to this one. This is a bit of a different camera setup. Okay, <laughs> that's that's better. Yeah, so we're doing water today. I'm um, going to look at how water acts, what it does, how you can uh, work with it. Um, and this thing, there's a thing called capillary action. That's what I, because I'm from Minnesota. We say capillary. Here they call it capillary action. Capillary. Um, it's a British thing. Um, or Kiwi thing. Um, so I'll just show you how it works. I'll just show you one of the things, because we've done a couple of these before. But just because, I guess when you get down to it, it, water has a skin. That's that's the way I like to think of it. It has kind of a... Um, uh, a skin on it, and um, oh, I haven't, I haven't fired up any of these other photos. So we're going to be looking at walking water, and we're looking at surface tension. Um, let's see what else we got here. Um, it's you might have done this experiment with a uh, um, with a flower. Some people do it with flowers. Um, and when you, um, we'll go to a new one. When you look at something like this and you put it, these are, these are carnations. Um, and when you put them in the water, let me see which one came up. You can see how um, it sucks the water up. So that's that's your main kind of concept for today. So if you like, put a, a flower in blue water, it turns blue. So it sucks it up. So it's like anti-gravity. So clear stays white. These are all started out white. Red goes red and green goes green. Um, all right, so what they say, that's called capillary, capillary action, capillary action where it's like when the water gets into a thin space, it wants to go up, it goes up even just a little bit. But if there's more fibers and things like that, um, it'll go up even further. Um, I'll show, look at another picture like this one. I mean, this is just one of those a characteristic that water has that um, it, uh, it just like, like when, you, when you put it in a little straw or something, it sticks to the sides. This is a glass straw. It sticks to the sides and then it just wants to go up. It just, it's just sticky. And that's how plants and trees and all kinds of animals and um, maybe not animals. <laughs> now, it's not animals. Because animals have a, like, um, so when you look at, at, at like the blood or the, all the juices in a human, they have a, like a, um, your heart pumps that around and they're moving. Or this capillary action is how water and liquids can move inside of plants um, and some other things I'll show you um, just by the surface tension. Okay, so here's a little experiment. Um, there that. Uh, so this is just cups. I'm just going to do one. I'll do one here. Um, like I would take three cups. I'll show you what happens. And this this happens right away, but it takes a little bit of time. Okay, three cups, a little bit. So water in each one, uh, but you need food coloring for this. It, it works, but uh, it just, food coloring allows you to see it, see it happening. All right, we'll go green. Green in this one. Uh, go red or blue. Red, I like red. I got and a little bit of red in this one. You can and you can do so many different colors. You can uh, line up. And then you can do a blue one here, and it kind of walks. This is called walking water. Paper towels you might have these, or you could try. You could try fabric, or you could use I don't know toilet paper, maybe anything that's got. So it's it's you're working with the little fibers in here. So the fibers you can't really see them, but when they stick together. Um, it, it allows that water to stick and kind of move up a little bit, a little bit shorter, and then this one and a rip it. Okay, so I'm going to make little tube. This is not a little tube, but I'm just folding this up. All right, and so when I dip this in there, when I put it in the water, it needs a little bit more red. 
it's going to suck it up. I mean, that's just what it does. That's called capillary action. And this is the same way, like when plants, like a tree, gets water from the ground and it gets sucked up from the ground up into the, to the leaves and the stems. Okay, so that goes in there. So as soon as I put that in, you can see it coming up. All right, so I'm going to put that one into there. And I'll do the green. A little bit. All right, then the green one goes over here. Oh. So you're setting up like, like kind of like, it's not like a rainbow, but it's like uh, two little arches that go in. And then you can put another one over here if you want to do it. So we'll uh, get a little zoom in on that one. So right away, we're going to watch this over time, but you can see how this one it's starting to come up and it goes down and it'll come in down and these, and the green one, the green one gets up. This is called capillary action. Uh, this is gonna take a while, but you can just kind of sit and uh, oops, watch it. I'll show you one that I did earlier, prepared earlier, just to give you an idea. So this one, so the red and the blue went in and it creates the purple. So this one, you could connect this one, you could put another one to go from here, the green into the blue. You can actually make a, cir a rainbow circle, <coughs> which is kind of cool. Oop. Back up again. So this is capillary action. In capillary action in action, I'll show you, <laughs> Come on. We'll, we'll put that aside just for a minute. So the other little experiment I was going to show you is when you use, um, you get like a little eyedropper and you can, what I would do, so this, you can see how much water you can get on the top. This is one of the things we did before. So this one, I'm going to zoom in, bring it a little bit closer. So as you, as you look at this, all right, you can see that the water kind of domes over the top. Right, it doesn't really, oh yeah, there it goes. So the more you put on there, you can see it kind of floating around, but it doesn't tip over. So it's got like a skin on there. And you can do that with a coin. You can do that with something, anything you can put on there so you can dribble the water on slowly and it makes kind of a, a, a domes over. So again, going back to surface tension and how water has a skin on it. And that's one of the things we did um, with, we did this one before, but uh, how you can, you fill up like a glass of water all the way to the top, like way over the top, but like over the top. So you can see it's got that little domey thing over the top. This is something you could try. You could experiment with this. We can zoom in again. And then you want to float things. So I've got like a little paper clip, put it on the edge. So this is surface tension, again, showing, this is capillary action. Oop, that one was not gonna work. But you gotta be a little careful. You slide it on. Doesn't always work. All right, so that one is, slot, is just sitting on top of the surface of the water, floating around. You can make little boats out of these. I mean, sometimes you can put sails on them. You can make little boats like that. Oh, didn't work. But it's just, it's just experimenting, You're having a little fun. See what you can actually float on top of the water in the, in the surface tension. Boats. It needs to be kind of flat. So I'm going to float another one on there. You can push it on. All right, you can see it's floating. And then if you want to break the surface tension, it'll just drop down to the bottom. Boom. And you can touch it again. There we go. All right. Um, Oh, I can just say, uh, here's, oops, one more thing. 
Where we go? Uh, okay. I'm back. I'm back. Oh, we've got Einstein's here. Hello! <laughs> so much fun. So much fun to be here. I missed you guys. Yeah, baby. All right, he's got this is this is like a little prank, and if you do this, don't tell anybody I told you to do it. All right, you can see these are these are gonna go, these are gonna take a little while. So you might have done this. I know this has happened around our house. Um get a, a glass of water. Uh so one of uh, one of the, the first things, so we've got I'm gonna so if you have a cardboard, get a little piece of card, put it on top of the glass of water. All right, so this, all right, so right away, so that's full of water and it's got the card. So obviously if you pull the card out, all the water's gonna go. But this is the thing, you can actually do this with a small one, when people do this. You can put it on the table or the counter and then you slide the card out. And there it is, it sucks, it sucks on there. So this is, now this is a little bit dangerous and it's gonna get really messy because somebody, if you did, especially if you did this on the table or on your kitchen bench, or, and if you did it with maybe a cup, a coffee cup where you can't see what's in it, somebody will come along and pick it up and it'll go water everywhere. But um, that's just a little bit of science. But uh, so if I pick this up right now, I'm gonna try, <laughs> try and pour it into the, it's gonna go back into the jug. But somebody will come along and go, whoop, Bah. Uh, and that releases the tension, surface tension of the water, and there it goes. I mean, you can get anything else wet. Okay, so that's going to be our science for today. Hopefully, you can have a little fun with water. You can do the uh, this little walking water experiment. I like because you do even if you did it with blue and red, it turns into purple, and you can do lots of different colors, and you can just play around with water. And uh, that's a good outside thing to do. Um, so what else? I'll just go back to this. What else did we look at? Um, that was about it. We looked at these. So I've something I've done. I've done with this before, and it, it takes a while, but to do the colors with that, and you can actually um, do um, that works with celery also. All right, celery works with. All right, so um, actually, I'm going to say goodbye now, um, and we'll see you on YouTube if you ever want to see this again. And I'm going to stop here, and I'm going to say goodbye to everybody. Have a nice day, and see you tomorrow.